Right, so this is a Bluetooth enabled controller with a NEMA 17 uh, stepper motor. This is a Samsung uh, tablet. My uh, focus of Bluetooth. Uh, get paired devices. It's an HCO5. And uh, it's telling me here the device, etc. It says connection established. If I test the connection, it comes back with EOK. If I go get all, it comes back, it tells me it's 5803, I can step 100 steps. If I go, uh, for example, minus 100, you can see the focus of move. If I get the new position, it's 5703, which we would expect. If I get temperature, it's now down to 23.250. I can set it to, uh, speed is currently fast, so that's fast. If I go slow... You can see it's a lot slower. Um, this can auto update by starting timer. It refreshes the uh, position and temperature and is moving. I want to uh, set the position. The timer has to be off. So I'm going to set the uh, set the position. Let me just erase this. Let's set it to like 2000, which is fine. Um, and if I tell it to go to position, it will go to that position. Um, so away it goes, and I'll start the timer. And you can see it's now is moving is true. And when it gets to uh, 2279, and now it's 2000. So you can see that all of that functionality is actually working. I can stop the timer at any time by pressing the stop. So uh, I've got the capability button. to uh, set the motor speed. I've got the capability to do the coil power. Uh, a little bit fiddly. Fingers a wee bit too big. Reverse direction, same. Um, I should be using a little pen to do this, but never mind. I can set max steps. I can set the position, I can go to a position, uh, I can get the temperature, I can do all the things that I can normally do except step mode, but this is the first release, I've just held down the temperature probe, it's now 23.5, um, so all of that functionality is actually working, this is a Bluetooth controller, I can quit out of this, it goes back to here, press back, go back to the main screen, press quit and I'm out of that altogether.